Good morning. Welcome back. I have lots of little updates. I've been kind of like here, there, and everywhere lately. Um, today I am going to get my face done by Plump RX. By face, I mean Botox to get all this craziness away because what am I, 45 years old? And I do my lips. Um, and then I also booked for my jaw too. Originally, I obviously booked because I'm like, I want to snatch jawline um, for my sister's wedding, especially. Um, but I lately, Elijah's been saying that my jaw, like I've been clenching my jaw at night and grinding my teeth so hard and I've been literally waking up with terrible headaches. So that also, it's good to get Botox in your um, jawline for people who have like TMJ. I don't have TMJ, but Lately, I guess, stress, house, lots of going on. Um, apparently, it can help. So I may get it. I may not get it booked for it. So I'm in there. Um, I have a wedding to do tomorrow in Lenox. So I'm leaving tonight because um, it's like three hours away. Um, so I'm going to do that. I have nothing on right now. I think... Um, I might not. Also, okay. I've been, a long time ago, I like would put ice packs like on my eyes and like use ice here and there, but never like, I was just doing it because people were doing it before. It truly, truly makes a difference. It's crazy. If you go back and look at my other like videos that are close up, my under eye bags they're literally almost gone. I have nothing on my skin. That's only from ice cubes. It's impeccable. It's impeccable. I've literally seen the world's worlds of a difference. It's crazy. My eyes are just very puffy right now. One, it's morning. And two, um, They, my eyes are just puffy all the time. I don't know. This year with allergies, I swear I've never in my life had allergies before. And I feel like I also say that every year. So who who only knows? Who knows? Um, I also, my nails are completely off for a little. So I can actually like not stress about them for taking wallpaper off the walls. Luckily, it's almost done. We're getting there. The house is getting there, by the way. This is the that mocha rose. It's the same as that minted um, rose one by the same thing. I get it at Anthro at least. Although I did see one of these, probably kind of the same thing. I don't know if it was Smith's brand though. Um, but they have these like when you're checking out at Sephora and like the little, where you get like the little mini things. Um, they had something like that over there. But I get mine at Anthro. I don't know. Um, but my nails are completely off. I'm not getting them until before the wedding in July. Just going to take a little break for myself. I'm dying without them. But honestly, doing my skincare and shit, it's, it feels really good feeling the balls of your fingers because I never am able to. Um, but the house is going good and I, I need to start doing this. I'm just going to do a little eyebrow and probably oil and lotion on my face. Um, fuck, what was I just saying? Uh, oh my god, what was I just saying? Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the house. It is, it's getting there. It surely, surely is getting there. Um, we're still living in the apartment right now because it's not livable just yet, but the plumbing is done. The, electric the electrician came, did his thing, but they came to do like the prep. So right now, paint is being done. And um, I think the 18th, the floors are all being done. That's gonna be a world's, world's of a difference, having those floors done. Oh my God. 
And then Elijah just redid the entire bathroom. Well, he demoed the whole thing and like, I don't know, put a new wall up and shit, uh, whatever you do. Um, so that needs to be painted. The fl new flooring needs to be laid down in there. Um, I need to do a little tour, like a little tour of like what's going on when I go there. It's just last weekend I had weddings. The weekend before I had proms and weddings and graduations. So I really haven't been able to be up there. Luckily, Elijah's well, a champ and goes up every day after work and is just fucking savage with that shit. I, I would come, I would leave work and be like, okay, going home. But he's determined, so, which is great because then it will all be done. But house updates are going great. And I get so focused with these fucking eyebrows. And um, hopefully when we move in in a couple of weeks, Um, we'll, we'll move in on, at the end of the month, we'll, we're going to ride out the rest of the apartment's lease and then start moving our things in to the house little by little. But once paint and floors are done, that's when the electrician and the plumber come back and install everything. I need to buy a damn new toilet, a new vanity grate. I don't know what the hell they're barking at, but. Come on, little guy. Oh, this, these little boys ride fast. Whenever they dry too fast like that, you just need to give it a little more um, oomph with the brush and the flick. Damn, my left one's laminated as shit. What was I doing? Obviously talking a blue streak. A blue streak, what am I, 90? Um, okay. And yes, I did my eyebrows before I put any face lotion and stuff on because um, that's just what I've been kind of doing. I'm licking my finger. I don't care. I need a little moisture and I don't have a towel. Um, what was I saying? Um, that's what I've been doing lately when I'm not putting a lot on my face. Also, too, from doing my ice cubes under my eyes and truly seeing the difference of it, I'm like, I don't want to put anything on like it's it feels so good it feels so good to like not to like look at myself and not see like purple purple bags I mean obviously I still got a little shadow still a human being but you know okay Ola Henderson banana bright eye cream keep those puppies in check But yeah, I will try to um, record a little. It will probably end up being a TikTok or something so I can, it's the easiest way for me to mush things into one instead of doing those 972 videos I was doing at the beginning. It is crazy how much like I've already been like, oh, what are those old videos? Like I'm already looking at it like, who who was that? I always just put a little eye cream in the, oh my God. What are they doing? Um, even though she's just gonna be poking at all of this soon, but it's for my own sake, I guess. Okay. 
okay. Ah, she just did another little quick face up frame to me. Guys. I also forgot to put toner on, so I'm gonna put this little left of it, whatever's left on. I should have done this before my under eye, but it's okay. Just always just press your toner and your creams and your oils, everything, just press it all into your skin because that's what, how it basically drinks. It's literally like drinking everything you're putting into it. You're feeding your face, basically. That was good. That was a good little analogy. Is that the word? No. Oh, I finally got my eyebrows threaded the other day. Guys, I don't know what's good, but... Oh, Zeusy's outside. Another little... Another little golden. Okay. Toner and under eye. And now I'm going to do the same concoction. I made a little TikTok, a little, like, midday skincare TikTok. Um, with, like, just some products that I use. And I used the... Um, first aid and then I mixed it with drunk elephants oil um, it's a good little mix for morning and at night it's just a little bit it makes it a little more um, what's the word what's the word I like I don't know first aid beauty like when you put it on it's it feels really nice, but you don't feel any finishing, which is amazing. That's like the whole point of it. You don't want to feel like um, anything's on your face. But I just like to feel a little bit more hydrated by adding the oil to it. So that's why I do that. But I only do that if I'm not putting um, like foundation on and stuff. Because again, I don't know how science and shit mixes and whatever mixes with something. And then if it starts pilling, I'll start freaking out. So Press, 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 press. Maybe I will do a little... Close this. Yeah, but I will tr I'll try to record... Um, I'll try to record as much as I can. Oh my God. For whatever reason, I thought that I put my phone up on the tripod still, but you're leaning up against my mirror. So I came up quite fast. Um, I will record as much as I can and I will probably end up making, um, a TikTok from going for my Botox and stuff today. Cause like I said, it's just, it's easier for me. Like I know how to use it more so now. So it's, it's a better way for me to add everything into one. And it's also better like while you're recording. Cause for me, like again, I don't have a camera still. So using my phone and just holding my phone the whole time and like having it make it like making it continue to roll and it it just makes no sense so it's way easier doing a tiktok where i can just record put my phone down record and then blend them all together that's normally how a vlog works cat but i just don't have a camera so i'm just working with my phone and that is that i even tried getting a fucking like um editing app and shit and I'm like Kat you'll never figure this shit out especially right now like I'm trying to watch like DIY shit at the moment not uh how to edit a fucking vlog so you get what you get and that's that sorry But no, I definitely am, I am glad that I picked up on that 
whatever I was doing. My eyebrows look like I just got them microbladed. <laughs> I laminated them a little too crazy. But. Oh, I love my threading girl. I swear to God, it's 12 bucks Medford in Medford across from Wegmans where the old Metal Gun Mall was. It looks like it's a little house. It's called the Threading Place. Her name's Bidhada. Mondays and Wednesdays is when she works. And I'm telling you, she's impeccable. And usually, like, you think, like, all of, I mean, it sounds awful to say, but it's, like, you think that all of them, um, are, like, amazing, right? Like, whatever. Which all of them, yes, are amazing at doing eyebrows. It's the ones that are confident in doing it that are the better ones, obviously, with, well, as for anything. But with threading, threading is, like you're essentially plucking your eyebrows, but mad hairs are coming out at once. So you're taking this thread and you're pulling, and when you lift it up, you're pulling mad hairs at once. So the confident ones have it down to a T, what you want or whatever, so they'll do it and they'll do it fast so you won't feel it. The less confident ones will do it, but they'll pull slow so you're feeling blink, 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 you're, and I, you are in tears bawling your eyes out. My girl done in three minutes, I'm out. Not a tear to be seen. Eh, maybe sometimes, but. And news, little tip. When you have your period or when you're getting your period, everything on the face hurts. When you get your face done, you're fucked. When you get your eyebrows microbladed, you're fucked. Threaded, you're fucked. The worst pain, don't know why, always has been like that. It, crazy. I remember the first time when I got my eyebrows microbladed, I was like, oh my God, that didn't hurt at all. Like, that's crazy, blah, 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 blah. I went back like the second or third time or something. And I was like, why does this hurt so bad? This, and she was like, do you have your period? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, that's why. Whatever with blood and flowing and not enough and ox whatever, whatever, whatever. Again, science, it's like, <laughs> I'm all set, even with face. Before, I was like, oh, didn't hurt, didn't hurt. Had my period. Killed bloody murder. Whatever. Luckily, don't have it today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I should be okay. Obviously, still might hurt a little. But um, even though I said I'm not going to do any of this, I think I want to do just a little just to even things out. But I feel like we're in pretty good shape. She also does two little right there and there. Uh, in my head, I say that it helps my smile lines. It could for sure do something so not that. So uh, I don't really know what it does, but I definitely see a difference and I like it. So we'll see what she says today. Who knows? Who knows? But as far as filler goes, I really only get um, filler in my lips. Everything else is Botox. Like the Botox is what would go um, <clears throat> in my jawline. That's Botox. You have, you can get filler there, of course. Like you can get filler anywhere, but. Mine would just strictly be um, Botox. I don't know, filler is nice, but filler is something in my eyes is what, um, like you have to keep up with it. And once you let it go, like, I don't know, it, it just, it's, if I were to go on a rant about it, it would sound scarier than it actually is, because it's really not scary at all. It's just, I'm not the person to want to, like, 
keep up with filler in a sense. Like I think I'm, one, I, I think I don't need it. Um, so it would honestly just start me on a slippery slope with my addictive brain. Cause I would get it and I would love it. And I would want to keep getting it. And I 1000% not only wouldn't be able to, I just wouldn't allow myself to. Because once I want something, when I first started getting, um, my lips and stuff done. I went, I think, I'll ask you today to see if we have it like marked or whatever. I'm not kidding you. I think I got a full syringe, then a full syringe, then another full syringe, all within like maybe four months. So like three syringes in four months. I went, cause I got so, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I just hate that I'm like that, but I know that I'm like that, so I have to stop myself while I'm ahead. So then I started taking, like, six-month intervals. And let me tell you, it's not the easiest, because once I see my forehead go, my lips stay pretty, pretty good. I haven't gotten them since December. Um, so that's, yeah, like six months, right? So I've been good with holding off on not getting it as much, I guess we could say. But let me tell you, if I could, I definitely would. But it's definitely in a addicting, addictive slope that I'm all for. But not when you just buy a house, I'll tell you that. I'm mainly doing, like, I probably would have waited longer, especially just because we're in the middle of this, but Carol, my sister's wedding is, um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury dupe I was saying, this is Wet and Wild, in Peach Bums. Really yummy. It's so good. I've actually been, like, running to this more so than anything else lately which is fun. And I also, I just love a stick. It's just, it's great. Um, but like I was saying, I would have waited a little while longer, but her wedding is in July and I just want to feel good for that at least. And I'm also doing the makeup for the whole thing. So in my head, I'm like, Oh, if I feel good, like, about myself, then it will be easier to do my makeup, in a sense, and not feel, like, stressed to be like, oh my god, it has to be wedding, like, blah, 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 you know? I don't know, I'm just talking out loud at this point. See how much makeup it looks like? I'm. It looks like I'm wearing, like, a lot of makeup when I literally am not wearing anything. I swear, it's from those ice cubes under my eye. I know I have concealer on right now, but you saw without it, it's crazy. So definitely try that. Cause that is game changer. Also too, when I would do it before, like I probably didn't even have crazy eye bags. So I wasn't seeing a difference. I was just freezing the fuck out of my eyeballs. And now, like, having the absolute purpliest purple under eyes, I saw, even Elijah was like, oh, God, <laughs> like, that's a crazy difference. Crazy. So I ice roll first with my ice roller. So that, like, just feels amazing. I, the ice doesn't feel that amazing unless you're just crazy and used to that. Um, but once it starts freezing under your eyeballs... Kind of hurts a little, but does the job. Oh, I just cannot wait. Cannot wait. I think I'm gonna do a little, see now I'm just getting ahead of myself. You don't need to do any of this, but 
just a little on my wet one. Just a little one too. Just a little one too. Just to warm things up a bit. And you can take this because it's like that perfect little sun-kissed girly curly. I feel like I always have felt like this on this side. And I don't even know. I always forget what side I sleep on. I feel like I wake up on, I mean, I fall asleep on one side, wake up on the other. But, um... I feel like there's like a loss of like pigmentation here. Like there's something going on on this cheek that I feel like I've always had, but like it just never, I don't know what it is. But if you can see that, I see it too. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And then I'm gonna take the tip and even though I'm getting my lips done, this is just for this, just to bronze them. Because if you're, you don't get your lips done, this plumps them. And even if you do get your lips done and you're in need for a little zhuzh, just do it yourself. I'm going to put some on my lids a little just to warm everything up. Okay. Definitely, definitely, definitely unnecessary. Like what, what do you, what do you put makeup on when it's all going to be wiped in one minute? Whatever. I think it feels good. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to use your finger because no nails. Okay, then a dry one, Charlotte Tilbury. A cutie girl, shrub and cord. And just set. Again, she's literally taking this off in two minutes. I don't even know what time it is. My appointment's at 11.30? I might as well. Just a little something. Okay, done with you. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think I'll just add a little, actually it's a lie, hold, hold. a little of happy just for a pinky little vibe Dee's room is so cute Dee is um who does my face she owns Plump RX in Wakefield. And her room's so cute. It's all pink. Everything pink. And honestly, I'm not even a pink girl. But 
figured I'd throw, throw her in some pink there. I had enough. Literally talking to myself. Okay. Okay, that's that. And then I think, I think. That's basically it. I'll probably do a lip. I'll probably, you know what? And then I'm literally just gonna take this, my lip gloss, and just do this under, under, just anything dewy I'm also gonna brush my because technically it's like um like I bet you petroleum jelly or something that first ingredient petroleum I don't know if you just heard that my phone just did something crazy but literally first ingredient petroleum so it's literally Vaseline with fragrance but who cares Everything works. Perfect. Great. Next time you see this gal, I won't look 47 with those. Crazy. Crazy. But yeah, I will try to um, vlog in a sense as much as I can when I'm there. Um, but, oh, that was crazy, but yeah, cutie, 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 cutie. Wow, my eyebrows are fucking limited as hell, but cute. Okay, love you so much. <laughs>